Hamas said on Tuesday that one of its top leaders had been killed in an attack south of Lebanon's capital Beirut, raising fears about the potential for an escalation conflict in the region. Hamas media outlet Al-Aqsa TV said Hamas Political Bureau Deputy Chairman Saleh al was martyred in the treacherous Zionist airstrike in Beirut. According to Hamas officials, two leaders from Hamas military wing, Samir Findi Abu Amer and Azam al Abu Amar, were among those killed in the attack. According to Lebanese news agency NNA, at least four people were killed the attack targeting a Hamas office in Da'i suburb southern Beirut. The region is also the stronghold of Iran-backed Hezbollah. The Israel Defense Forces declined to comment when asked about the announcement. And its spokesman, Daniel Hagari, brushed off a reporter's question the matter on Tuesday, saying, We are focused fighting against Hamas. However, Israel's Ferrite Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich wrote on official social media platforms that all of Israel's enemies will perish. In what appeared to be a veiled reference to the meanwhile, former Israeli ambassador to the United Nations Danny Dannon praised Israeli security and intelligence agencies for what he described as the assassination of Aruri on Tuesday. If true, Aruri would be most senior Hamas official killed by Israeli forces since the start of war. Sparked by Hamas' attack on Israel on October 7, in addition to dealing a blow to Hamas leadership, apparent attack also risks further expanding scope of Israel-Hamas conflict. This would be Israel's biggest attack on Lebanon's capital since the 2006 war between the two countries. Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Makati condemned the attack and said that the explosion is a new Israeli crime aimed at drawing Lebanon into a new phase of conflict. Referring to the months-long tit-for-tat conflict between Hezbollah and Israeli forces in Lebanon, Israel border area we call on the relevant countries to pressure Israel to stop its targeting. We also warn against the Israeli political level seeking to export its failures in Gaza to the southern Lebanon border. It has become clear everyone near far that the decision go war in Israel's hands and that what is necessary deter it stop its aggression. He added, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told a news conference in November that he had instructed the Mossad spy agency to take action against the heads of Hamas wherever they are. Israeli government spokesman Mark Regev stated in an interview with MSNBC that Israel does not take responsibility for the attack in Beirut. Regev, one of Netanyahu's senior advisors, said, Whoever did this should clearly understand that this was not an attack on the Lebanese state. Regev said, It was not even an attack on Hezbollah. Regev said that people who kill Israelis can expect the state of Israel and the Israeli armed forces to eventually reach them but that this is a